Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Smart Sky wins a major legal decision and award against former vendor. Also, ISS crew preps for film crew. And Blue Origin announces next space passengers for New Shepard. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. The war is finally over. Smart Sky Networks has prevailed in its arbitration of legal claims against a former vendor, Wireless System Solutions, LLC. Smart Sky was awarded over $12 million in damages, legal expenses, and sanctions. The panel of three arbitrators issued a permanent injunction against WSS, its companion companies DAG Wireless Limited and DAG Wireless USA, and individuals Laszlo Gross, Susan Gross, and David Gross. All counter claims against Smart Sky were dismissed with prejudice. Smart Sky won on 14 distinct claims related to numerous WSS breaches of contract, including failure to perform and WSS, DAG, and the Gross-related misconduct, interference with Smart Sky's business relationships, false advertising, use of fake identities, unfair and deceptive trade practices, use of alter ego companies, breaches of confidentiality, and willful and malicious misappropriation of Smart Sky's valuable intellectual property. The company now prepares for its commercial service launch later this year. Smart Sky is very pleased with the outcome of this case and always had great confidence that the facts supported our position and our rights, said David Helfgott, CEO Smart Sky. As we turn the page and look forward to commercial launch of our market changing aviation air to air ground network service, I have to note how this entire process ultimately has made a stronger, more cohesive team. After the break, a U.S. airport is requiring all its employees to get the COVID vaccine. I'll tell you which one after these messages. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. San Francisco International Airport recently became the first U.S. airport to require all workers to get the COVID-19 vaccine. The regulation extends to all contractors working at the airport. Fines may be imposed for those who do not comply with the new regulations, according to Mayor London Breed. Exemptions from the vaccination requirement can be granted by the employer for either medical disability or sincere held religious belief. Gulfstream reaches a major milestone. Gulfstream has delivered its 50th Gulfstream G600 to a North America-based customer. The G600, which entered service in August of 2019, features a leading fuel efficiency. The wing design reduces drag, and the engines provide improvements in environmental efficiency. Nitrogen oxide emissions are 27% lower than the latest ICAO Committee on Aviation Environmental Protection's international requirements, and emissions for carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and smoke are are more than 75% better than international requirements. First Flight Society offers a chance to fly in a World War II P-51. 
The Flight Society is getting a lot of attention with their latest sweepstakes program. They offer the chance to fly in the same type of aircraft as some of their first Flight Society honorees, such as the Red Tail Tuskegee Airmen, including General Benjamin Davis, USAF and B General Charles McGee, USAF, as well as other honorees. The Stallion 51 Corporation offers a rare and exhilarating hands-on P-51 flight experience. The winner can schedule the experience up to 12 months after winning. Bell Boeing upgrades underway for Air Force CV-22s. The first Air Force CV-22 Osprey designed for nacelle improvement modifications arrived at Bell's Amarillo Assembly Center on September 21st. The aircraft is part of an ongoing process by Bell and Boeing to further increase the Osprey's reliability and maintainability for the DoD. Naval Air Systems Command awarded Bell Boeing an $81 million contract in December 2020 to complete nacelle improvements on the CV-22 fleet. The contract covers completion of non-recurring elements fabrication of nine kits, and installation of one kit. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Tom Cruise's $200 million space movie may not be the first movie shot in space. On the morning of September 28th, three astronauts relocated the Russian Soyuz crew capsule to a new port on the International Space Station, clearing the way for entry of another Soyuz vehicle that will carry a Russian film crew. The film, the first commercial film in space and beating out Tom Cruise. On October 5th, the Soyuz MS-19 will carry three Russian crew members that will complete their missions by docking at the ISS. The crew members include Commander and Cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov of Roscosmos and space flight participants Klim Shipenko and Julia Perisild. Today's relocation is complete. The stage now is set for next Tuesday's arrival of the Soyuz MS-19. NASA spokesperson Rob Navia said, a lot of activity coming up at the International Space Station over the course of the next few days. Russian actress Yulia Perisild and film director Kim Shipenko will be the first two non-astronauts to arrive at the ISS since 2009. The movie they will be filming is called The Challenge and marks a first for the film community as well, as it will be the first film shot from space. The group will return back to Earth on October 17th on Soyuz MS-18. After these messages, next space passengers for New Shepard revealed. More on that after the break. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo Power Plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Still no word confirming the rumored flight of William Shatner, but Blue Origin has announced New Shepard's 18th mission NS-18 crew. Next mission is on October 12th, carrying four astronauts to space and back, including Dr. Chris Boschwizen, a former NASA engineer and co-founder of Planet Labs, 
and Glenn DeVries, Vice Chair, Life Sciences in Healthcare, Dassault Systems, and co-founder, Metadata. The two other astronauts will be announced in the coming days. Live launch coverage begins on BlueOrigin.com at T-60 minutes. Liftoff is currently targeted for 8.30 in the morning, Universal Time, from Launch Site 1 in West Texas. This flight follows Blue Origin's successful first human flight on July 20th, which included Jeff Bezos, his brother Mark, aviation pioneer Wally Funk, and Blue Origin's first customer, Oliver Damon. Also on board NS-18 will be thousands of postcards from Blue Origin's foundation, Club of the Future. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.